A man who killed his stepdaughter while driving drunk could be released just four years after the crime. His sentence was 22 years, but Tennessee's drinking and driving laws made him eligible for a parole hearing just today. The law has been changed. New at 6, News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger joins us live from Capitol Hill with a look at how this one case played such a big role. Mark? Well, that's right, Vicki. This state law has been changed and is largely because one lawmaker who was involved in this case got involved and he decided change needed to be made. Alexis Thompson was my daughter. <laughs> it was a parole hearing filled with emotion and it showed how a case of deadly drinking and driving can split a family. Christine McDonald testified against releasing her husband from prison during a video conference call. This is a day that we have to relive every day, not only for, for myself, but for my other daughter. Four years ago in Sumner County, 37-year-old Dusty McDonald drove drunk as he picked up his nine-year-old stepdaughter, Alexis, from school. On the way home, he crashed the pickup they were in. Alexis died from her injuries. McDonald ran from the scene. Instead of rendering aid, uh, you left. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I freaked out and I left. I was a coward. It would be his fifth DUI. His blood alcohol content was .20, or two and a half times the legal limit. State Representative William Lamberth also spoke against early release. Lamberth prosecuted the case. I'm not here as a representative today. I'm not even here as an XDA, but I am here as a daddy. And this case has left a scar on my heart, just like it has this family's, that'll be there forever. Lamberth took that scar all the way to Capitol Hill, where he sponsored and passed legislation increasing time served for aggravated vehicular homicide. And for aggravated vehicular homicide, it has been for decades 30%. We raised that to 60%. We doubled it because of cases just like this. McDonald's conviction was just four years ago. He was sentenced to 22 years in prison. After credits for good behavior, here he is after serving just 18% of his sentence. For Alexis's family, it's way too early for a parole hearing and definitely too early for McDonald's release. It just doesn't feel like he's had any remorse in the last four years. Now, the parole board has seven members. Two heard McDonald's case today, and they voted against releasing him, but it takes four votes to deny or approve parole. The rest of the board will review today's testimony, and there will be a final decision in seven to ten days. Reporting live from Bicentennial Mall, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD.